Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Today we're back in the garden all the way on day 11, so it's been quite a little bit since I last saw you guys. I think that was right around day 3, and that was the first update you guys even saw of this grow. It was a little uh, out of the blue more or less. Actually, I just hadn't been posted in a while, getting set up, trying to figure out what I was going to do. And this is the run we threw together. Now, now here on day 11, just trying to keep up with the girls, figure out how to manage this. This isn't a perfectly set up run by any means, but I think it's going to turn out pretty good. So since last week was just a hodgepodge, we're going to go straight into a little overview here for those of you who may just be joining us now or who didn't quite uh, pick it all up last week. But essentially what we have here is two 4x4 four four trays. They're on one homemade rolling table here, but it's two 4x4 four four trays with totally separate plants totally separate light. So there's no comparison going on. I just want to clarify that right off the bat here. But uh, there are some similarities in there and with regardless of side, it's going to be a great grow. So how I'm going to continue the updates is we're going to start over here on the right and then we're going to work our way over to the left. So on the right here, what we have is six plants that were vegged a little north of four weeks here. And what they are is a, it's called Barbecue Gorilla by Empire Breeding Company and it's a Gorilla Glue number four crossed with a face on fire OG. So the traits that this thing's displaying is, I, I think it's on the uh, face on fire kind of side, but regardless of whichever one it takes, both of those are stretchy kind of OG-ish strains. They're gonna give us some golf ball nug development and some just beautiful gas. Anyway, like I said, these were veg just north of four weeks and have just exploded. And uh, I think, I don't know how many, I think we might have had two layers of trellis on last time and one over there, or maybe not even one over there yet. Anyway, I had just put the third layer on tonight and the tops are getting through there just fine. So we had a first layer that was put on to shape these plants that were tall and lanky. We laid them down to create this archway here. The archway, laid them down, started to take shape second trellis net started to support the tops and the third trellis net is going to be that uh, that second pivot or fulcrum that's really going to keep them upright so we have a shaping trellis and two supporting trellis above what this side is being lit by is the 3000k base photo boost the original samsung 3k with the original xpge high efficiency photo reds now without jumping back and forth some people ask would that light be better over here and this light be over there per strain that might be because the 4k base will help keeping them squat but my reason behind doing this is my my baseline or my comparison for this strain is gorilla glue as well as some ogs in the past but it really is gorilla glue which was just ran under this 3k base light so this will be the the best way i can do somewhat of a comparison between the traits that this this strain barbecue gorilla the cross with the og is going to bring versus what we just ran the original gorilla glue number four so that's kind of why that's happening without bouncing back and forth. But anyway, this side here is doing fantastic. It's really responded to its, its shaping real well and just a little bit of cleanup in here to go. Again, just in here on day 11 and I've been taking some leaves off every night just slowly and we'll get to the, the main defoliation in a little bit. So that's this side. It's being fed to what it needs for its strain. Currently they're being fed the same, but it's just being fed jacks the boot, my green jeans boost formula it's been fed so far since bloom uh, during veg it was three two one we'll see if we switch back or, or what that does but i'll keep you posted on that so then we're going to start moving over to the left side just as we always did now this side is my blackberry cream number one pheno it resembles blackberry blackberry kush uh, incredibly well this was this was the most resembling pheno that i had and it's it's just a beauty anyway extremely short squat broadleaf variety compared to the ogs on the other side again there's no comparison whatsoever or comparison side by sides nothing two completely separate grows on each side and boy the strains are even without any other variables being changed like i'm saying beautiful broad leaves healthy vigorous for its stoutness 
you know, not vigorous in height, but just its general stockiness, beautiful growth, and we got some good, good root to, root zone development. This, these guys down here now that they're trellis really need to get cleaned up. So that's what I'll be doing here, probably tonight in the next few days. Really, kind of clean up the undercarriage here, get some good airflow, and just get these suckers out of here. I just laid the second layer of trellis on, net on here. And these girls probably won't stretch up too much through it. They'll get a little bit through, but uh, they will be behind those barbecue gorilla the whole time. That's to be expected, even if they were correctly vegged over there. Anyway, what this is being lit by is a little bit newer model of the Photo Boost PCBs. This one is featuring a Cree diode for the whites. That's the prototype aspect of it. It's also fe featuring the new XPG3 high efficiency photo red, or actually it's not a high efficiency, it's just the XPG three photo red that is what it is anyway extremely efficient diode actually the most efficient red diode currently out on the market um, this is going to be coming for those of you guys who are on the photo boost quest this is coming with the 3k samsung whites now everyone wants to ask what's the difference between the cree white or the cree white and the samsung white honestly they are neck and neck in performance photon to photon it's really just a uh, it's really just a choice. So currently we're going to be continuing with the Samsung 301Bs because those are a fantastic diode, but it's great to get prototypes like these and see that Cree's come into the table with really great diodes across the board, not just their reds, um, being able to use anything at that point if we so do. Now this is a 4K base. And like I said last time with these new high, these much more efficient, which at the same wattage give us more output uh, reds the 4k base kind of brings our ratios back, but it is raising our blue levels a little bit They're going from around 8% uh, Around 8% blue in the spectrum to around 11. So it's a, it's almost it's basically a 50% increase pretty close to 40 or so and uh, So there will be some slight morpho Morphological changes that we'll see but nothing in this run again. There's no side-by-sides or anything going on eventually I will get that set up but this was just a let's get what I have in in my you know my veg setup in here something to flower and we'll just get a show going next time I'll work it to have all clones from the same mother across the board both trays and we'll do some little side-by-side -side between these but uh, regardless that's what's going on so I apologize again for the late delay it, uh, I know I'm trying to get these out Saturday morning, late Friday night, but uh, hope you enjoy this for the Sunday. And stay tuned. This will get a little bit better, a little bit more structured, especially now that these are in here. Drip system to come. Light levels, I will show you those. Defoliation, everyone loves the defoliation videos and all that. So stay tuned for the uh, coming videos, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.